All right, today we're gonna to be doing flanking cut beef ribs on the pit barrel cooker. All right, so the first step for these beef ribs is we gotta make a marinade, get them prepped, and let them sit in that marinade overnight. So let's go back in time to yesterday, and I'll show you the marinade I made and how I prep these ribs. All right, let's make this marinade. I'm gonna start off with a little soy sauce. Let's say about a cup and a half. A couple tablespoons sesame oil. A couple tablespoons rice wine vinegar. It's a couple teaspoons of fish sauce. Got a spoonful of honey here. This is some really good honey. Some Chinese style five spice. A little bit of salt, some black pepper. I got about a quarter of an onion cut up here. You can use any kind of onion you want. Here I have some chopped up garlic and some chopped up ginger. Go ahead and just mix this up good. It's already smelling great. All right, I'm gonna add a little more honey because I want a little more sweetness in this. All right, this is all set. Let's get those short ribs. All right, here's our delicious flanken style beef ribs. Just check out the marbling on these. This is why these are gonna be so delicious. They're nice and thin, so it's not gonna be like a traditional short rib. These are gonna be some delicious ribs. Now, there's one thing I gotta show you about these. As you can tell, this is a rack of short ribs. So it was like this, and then they just slice nice little slices out of here. So you got these bones in here that are each cut. Now, this leaves a lot of bone dust on here. So if you just get a knife and just scrape it like this, make sure you get both sides. They have a special tool for this, but a knife works fine. That's gonna get all the bone dust off. That's what you wanna get off, all this bone dust. So make sure you go ahead and do that to all these before you go ahead and marinate them. So go ahead and throw these ribs in a Ziploc bag. You can do this in a container if you want. Now, once you got all the ribs in there, get that marinade that we just made. Give it a nice mix before you pour it in there and go ahead and just dump it in. I like to close this up with a little bit of air in it. Just mix these up nice. Get them all well coated. All right, once you're satisfied, pop open one of these corners, squeeze out as much air as possible and close it up. And there you have it. Go ahead and leave these in the fridge. Probably, I would say minimum six hours. Overnight's best. So that's the marinade. Let's get to cooking these. All right, here's our beef ribs. They've been marinating overnight. Let's get them ready to get on the pit barrel. So you wanna get yourself a tray with a rack. Go ahead and just lay these beef ribs down. We just wanna drain off some of the excess moisture. So we got these beef ribs ready on the tray. Just gonna let them drip off a little bit before I put them on the pit barrel. And I'm sure you already know, with these flank and cut beef ribs, most often they're grilled hot and fast over direct heat. These aren't really a low and slow kind of cook, but I'm gonna try and do it on the pit barrel, low and slow style and see how they come out. The other thing, this leftover sauce, don't throw that away yet. We're gonna be using this later in the cook. So what you wanna do is take the sauce out of here. You're gonna wanna put it in a pot and bring it to a boil. So don't throw that away because we're gonna be using it later. All right, I got the pit barrel lit. I'm gonna be using some hickory wood chunks in there today with this. So let's get out and get these beef ribs on the pit barrel. All right, let's get these beef ribs on. So those beef ribs are on the pit barrel. Here's my plan of attack. So I'm gonna let these cook for about 30 minutes and check on them. And most likely I'm probably gonna end up flipping them over at that point and letting them cook for another 30 minutes. Then once they're done cooking, I'm gonna pull them off, throw them in a tray with some beef tallow, butter, brown sugar, a little bit of honey probably. Then I'm gonna cover them with foil and put them back on the smoker for I'd say 40 minutes to an hour. After they cook for about an hour in the butter tallow mixture, I'm gonna open them up. I'm gonna take that leftover sauce that I brought to a boil I'm gonna dump it in the tray with the beef ribs, then let them cook uncovered for about a half an hour. At that point, I think we can take them off and they'll be ready to eat. I'll see you when I check on these beef ribs in about a half an hour and we'll see where we are then. All right, it's been a half hour. Let's check on these beef ribs. It's nice and smoky. All right, these are looking pretty good. It's about time to flip them over. So that's what we're looking for. It's getting nice and brown on that side, so let's go ahead and get these flipped over. All right, so I'm gonna let these go for about 20, 30 minutes. I'll see you when they're done. 
All right guys, here are the ribs. I let them go for just another 15 minutes because they were cooking pretty fast. Now I got them in this tray. I'm gonna put some tallow butter, honey, brown sugar in here, let them cook a little longer. So let's do that. All right guys, just take a look at these. They are so good looking right now. They smell fantastic. So they're, they're not too tender right now, but definitely you could eat these if you want. So if this is the way you wanna do it, go ahead. We're trying something different here. All right, so first we're going in with some butter. I want a good amount of butter in here. All right, that should be good with the butter. Now some beef tallow. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Now just go in with a handful of brown sugar. Then last, a little bit of honey. All right, so I'm just gonna cover this up with some tin foil. So now this is going back on the smoker for 30 to 40 minutes. I'll see you when it's done. All right, here's our beef ribs. They're on the smoker for about 40 minutes. Let's take a look. These beef ribs smell absolutely phenomenal. All right, so there's one last thing we need to do. Let's get our marinade from earlier. So I've boiled this and let it cool down. Let all those flavors incorporate nicely. Let's just go ahead and dump this in now. Now what I wanna do is get this mixed up real nice, get everything incorporated. Just gonna go ahead and mix this with my hands. All right, so these things are definitely feeling nice and tender. This is a good sign here. Now I just wanna make sure that everything's all covered up nice. Now I'm gonna get this covered, put it back on the smoker for about 20 minutes, and I'll see you when it's finished. All right, our beef ribs are done. Let's take a look. The smell coming off these is ridiculous. Check that out. Take a look at that. It's got a nice crust on there. Super tender, just falls apart. All right, let's get these plated. All right, get a fancy plate. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do, I got some of this rice seasoning. I love using this on any sort of Asian style dish. It's got great flavor. It's got like seaweed, sesame seeds, salt, a little bit of sugar, I think. It's a nice little garnish add at the end, so I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some of this on. All right, there we have it. Check that out. How does that look? These look delicious. All right, I can't wait anymore. Let's give these a try. So I'm super happy with how this came out. It's my first time doing it this way and I wasn't sure how it was gonna come out. I have done these before, but I've done them like the traditional way, grilled hot and fast over direct heat and they are delicious that way. But I wanted to find a way to get these to be super tender but still have that delicious flavor. I'm gonna give these a try. Take this one and you can see that just falls apart. Pulls right off the bone, nice and sticky. Look at that, let me give this a try. Mmm, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's good. Mmm, really good. That fat is rendered down perfectly. The flavors of the marinade and that sauce are so good. You get some of that ginger, you get a little bit of that onion, that garlic, it's so good. Cooking them in that beef tallow butter mixture has added another layer of flavor there that is so good. And these are just fall apart tender, it just melts in your mouth, it is so good. It's still got that flavor like it was cooked hot and fast, you get the seared, charcoal flavor. I really suggest trying out cooking these ribs this way. You won't be disappointed. These are so good. But I want to say thank you. I appreciate you guys watching. If you like the video, please like it. Please subscribe to the channel. You can follow me on Instagram at Smokestack Joe's. But once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Get out there, cook some delicious meat. Mm -hmm.